Hey guys, hey, hey, hey guys, welcome to another episode of Hello World. How is everyone doing? Hey, candy girl. Oh, candy girl. Hey, hey, what's going on? How was your day, candy girl? How is life treating you today? Good, I hope. I'm just gonna, ooh. I'm just gonna um, go over here and share out the stream and see what I look like. Mm. My forehead look nice and shiny. I like that. I'm gonna share the stream out. It was a good day. Are you a mother candy girl? I know, I don't think I've ever asked you. Let's see. I'm sharing the stream while you're talking. And hopefully our primary guest appears. Let's I'm sorry, I'm typing over here, so you know it looked crazy. Oh. There we go. All right, I shared it. Hey, TT, happy Mother's Day. Woo, 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 babies in the building. Miss TR, how are you? We have a member. We have a member, and it's Miss TR. Hey, happy Mother's Day to you, Miss TR, and um, and TT. How is how are your Mother's Days? Purple, you came in bright and early. Y'all must have been bored today. <clears throat> Purple rain, purple rain. Purple, up close and personal. Purple rain. This is to you, purple rain. Happy Mother's Day. Purple rain. You got a special Mother's Day song in your name because it's purple rain. Purple rain. Long ate it. Shorter it. Oh. Softly. Rain. Wide eyes, wide eyes, wide eyes. Hey, girl. How are you? Oh, okay, Nadia. Nadia, Nadia, Nadia. Okay, she said one sec. Yay, she's here. I couldn't find you, Nadia. I wanted to send you the link way before. Well, half an hour before. I wanted to send you a link, um, but I know you didn't, you don't really check your Instagram. So no, I, I don't want to bring a child in the, in the world. I have issue, I have health issues into nothing bad. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, LSP, what's going on? How are you? Relaxing on the couch and you ate, you got the itis. Uh-oh. You're welcome, Purple Rain. Happy Mother's Day to you as well. We have a lot of mothers in the his house and uh, mother figures and also just, uh, what do you call those? Mentors. So shout outs to you guys. Um, I mean, you guys already know I don't really celebrate the holidays. So um, I want to celebrate you guys anyhow for all those hours of pushing or pulling or ripping up, all that stuff. We thank you, because without you, we wouldn't exist. <laughs> I'm here for as long as I could. I've been drinking. Oh, purple. Well, if you want to get crunked on Mother's Day, that's fine. If it's Mother's Day, get your drink. If it's Mother's Day, get your drink. Get crunk now. Get crunk now. If it's Mother's Day, get crunk now. That's your song, Purple. You got crunked on Mother's Day. When Nadia, um, when Nadia comes back, we're going to learn something new. But in the meantime, I need to tell you how my day went. So I woke up this morning and 
I didn't really do anything. And then I called my friend and I was like, hey, do you want to go to um, the supermarket with me? To Walmart? And she was like, yeah, sure. So I was like, okay, um, we can go to Walmart, but I want to go to a different Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to expand your wings a little bit. So we went to a Walmart that I hadn't been to in a long time. And the line was wrapped around, wrapped around like a roller coaster. And it was kind of windy. So I was like, I'm not trying to be on no line. It's too cold for me. I only had a little jacket on. So I was like, it's too cold. I didn't want to be clutching my jacket like this and then like that. And then like, oh, getting angry and whatnot. And then get like stressed in my neck and tension. So I was like, oh no. So instead, we ended up going to a local supermarket. There was no lines. They didn't even have the line in the barricades up anymore. So we we went in. Um, I just got, shh, I got pizza and some biscuits and um, a tortilla. So I'm going to make like um, eggs, you know, like an egg burrito type of thing. I'm going to do that. Okay, email you. All right, cool. I'm going to email you now. Oh, Lord. Sincerely yours. Hold on, y'all. Let me email Nadia. And while I'm emailing Nadia, I'm going to double it up and um, and tell you this story, too. So I had a good day. And then she also was so kind and got um, some socks for her mother. She got... Um, she got the the love and peace socks for her mom, and she also picked up one of the um, the brownie obsession socks. Oh, Nadia, I've emailed you before. What a thing that I am! All right, Nadia, I just sent you the email. So we um we went there. So it was a good day, and she said, um, and if you guys want to email Nadia an order or whatever. Her link is in the bottom, actually not the email, but her website is in the link of this discussion if you wanna learn anything more. But I feel like she's gonna enlighten us with a lot of information on different things we can use to help boost our immune system up. And also if you have any ideas or whatever, you can please add them in the, in the, um, the chat. Purple, I only have three eggs left. I only have three eggs left. So I said, I might as well. I was, remember I was using the eggs for, um, I was using the eggs for my French toast and that junk was tearing my stomach up because I don't really eat eggs and bread like that. Hey, Pastor Kim, happy Mother's Day. Kinky, kinky, kinky locks, trays in the his house. Kinky, oh, wait, wait. We have a member, we have a member, and it's Kinky Locks Trey. Hey, Kinky, we have a member, we have a member, and it's Stephanie Hypeman, 50 climbing in my thing. Hi. So yeah, got you don't like eggs. I, I don't really like eggs too, too much, but hey, I, hey, AKA James, what's going on? Happy Mother's Day to your mother, if your mother's still alive. Um, Eggs, like I usually don't eat eggs, but let me tell you, when I have breakfast, eggs usually come along with it. And I don't really eat, like eat, eat breakfast good, good like that. So, um, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um. So yeah, the pizza I had it's I bought a vegetarian one, all veg. It had um, red peppers, yellow peppers, onions, and cheese. I had that yellow peppers too, right? I said right. Yeah, it had that on there. It was like roasted roasted vegetables that was on there. It was all right, you know. I mean, it was okay. Um, I just couldn't think of anything else to eat since I'm not supposed to be eating any junk food or like. Well, junk snacks or or whatever. I see Nadia's in the back. So let me um get my introduction together for you guys. Guys, if you don't know who Nadia is, you've seen her, you know, doing moderation for me um in the chat and dropping my links and such. And I really appreciate her that for that. I originally met her over at Carter's Eat, where um, you know, she was talking about being a small business, but I call them growing businesses. You know what I'm saying? Like we need to rename and claim, right? 
So growing businesses. And she just, it was just something about her conversation that made me very intrigued. And I was like, oh, I need to know this person. And so um, I ended up following her and I caught her live. And then I've just followed her since. You know, I, um, I've listened to her, some of the things that she's talked about. Um, she hangs out a lot, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, yesterday or the day, well, one day last week, she was on a live and they were talking about all of these different things. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. She came in here the other night and I was like, oh, we should talk about building our immune system since I was talking about the weather and how we need to start doing something to buckle down. Because if there's no vaccine for this virus, we propose there probably won't be a, well, I propose there probably won't be a vaccine for a very long time. And if it is a vaccine, the fear is that it keeps mutating into different things. So by the time they come up with a vaccine, will it be enough to catch up with the mutated disease? So since we don't know, none of us know, none of us know, we can try to do things on a natural level just to help boost it up. So if we do have a boosted immune system and must take a vaccine, it makes us that much more stronger, right? So anyway, without further ado, I appreciate you guys for being here. Please share out the stream if you can. And don't forget to thumbs up the live uh, because this is going to be some vital information. So without further ado, I want to introduce to some of you for the first time and some of you for before, Miss Sincerely Yours, Nadia. And um, she's going to bring us some good information. Hey, Nadia. She got hey. It. How are hey. you? I'm good. Let me pull up. I'm trying to pull up the chat on my phone. I was trying to move fast. And then, you know what? I'm so sorry. I want to uh, come up here live with my face because I don't like to come up like this with the what do you call this? But I had such a crazy day, and then I literally just jumped from one panel to here. Oh, so okay. my hair looks crazy. <laughs> I don't even know where I could find you. That's the funny thing. And then you know what? Too, you're you're going in and out a little bit. Um, I didn't even know what chat to try to find you in, so I just said, yeah. um, <laughs> "Oh, I was in the story time uh, with Shay." Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, let me just yep. hide a few people real quick. Hey, okay. Shay. Hi, Chef Disaster. We have Nadia here. And also, who else just came in here? Dragonfly Lady. Hello. That's okay. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss, Dragonfly. I'm sorry for your loss. But I hope this chat, um, I, everybody, please, you know, send some well wishes up to Dragonfly Lady because this is probably like the hardest holiday for her. Wow. Um, prayers, prayers. Yep. But Dragonfly Lady, hopefully this chat will help enlighten you and lift you up and help you learn something new and different. So Nadia, like start yeah, from the Tell us about your business, why you started your business, and then we can go straight in there from there. Okay. Um, well, of course, you know, my name is Nadia and I own Sincerely Yours, Nadia A, a business I've ran uh, professionally now for the past it's been about 20, close to 20 years now. Um, how I started? Well, um, my family has always, you know, been a soaping family. And uh, my grandmother especially had some really good recipes for soap. My great grandmother rather. And um, when my son was born, he had eczema, really bad, severe eczema. And you know how hard it could be when you're trying to find the right thing for your children. And um, although, you know, I'm able to soap, I still like to buy certain things like Dr. Bronner's, which is still a good product. So I'm not speaking bad about it. Um, you know, Aveeno, things like that. But you know what? Sometimes the best thing is something, you know, you can put your hands on and you can create because you know what's in it completely. So I created, um, well, I didn't create. It was a recipe I've always known, except I didn't use lard, right? Um, I I made my great grandmother's oatmeal milk and honey bar, and it was phenomenal. It helped his cracks in between, like his neck area, ears, things like that. And then I will always make it for my neighbors and people that I know, and it just grew. And it wasn't so much of like a business. I just did it for like the holidays. People would know, like, you know, when Christmas coming, Nadia's going to give you a shoebox. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was as simple as that. I would fill up a shoebox 
If you give me a shoebox, I will fill it up with soap. So it was like that. And then um, it wasn't until, you know, I feel like the universe, the, the universe is real. Energy is so powerful and you can't help but go in the direction the universe is pushing you to go to, right? Because if you don't, you realize that you're going in circles. You are always going to, it's like a dog chasing his tail. And it happened to be um, one day I was working and um, my job uh, eventually just shut down just like that. And I freaked out and I was like, you know what? You know, I got to get my resume together. I'm going to go right back out. And then I said, no, you know what? I'm tired of working for other people. I, I remember this one quote that stuck with me and it was almost like a quote that I would read out loud and I would be so ashamed of myself to myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like, you know, shame on you, Nadia, you know better. It was that quote of, um, if you work for someone else, you build their brand up, you build their, their, it was something like that. You, I, I forgot the words exactly. But, you know, it was a, that thing of um, work for someone else and you will help build their dreams. Right. Okay. Is that quote, if you remember that quote, something about yeah, building. Yeah, I remember that along the lines of that. Right. Or you can, you can, you can step out on faith and build your dreams, build off of your own dreams. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? I don't know how, but God will make a way. And I put one foot in front of the other. I made some really good connections. Um, I was able to put my products in a major chain, Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. I was able to, um, you know, I, it's a, it was a learning lesson. It's been a learning lesson, but I'm so grateful for the entire experience. And I'm just doing what I love. I, I'm doing what I love. I garden. I love to garden. My products are made, um, not everything from my garden, obviously, but, you know, for the most part, a lot of my herbs are are that go into my soap. It's from my my garden. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's what I do. I create fun stuff. I like to always push myself. Um, what other mixes can I make with my soaps? What what other oils can I mix together? Things like that. So yeah, that's what I do. I'm just rambling. <laughs> no, 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 that's fine. I mean, people need to know the history of why you. Like why you of all people would know something about how mm -hmm. to help him, how to help boost our immune system. So I know the other, and I and I want you to like talk about your business anyway. You know, I was trying to get you up here the other day. I know. <laughs> you know, I'm good for ducking and dodging. <laughs> I know, but I got you. But um, in terms of the conversation that you were having in the other chat the other day. Oh, with TC, my yep. sister, I love her. Yes. What? What were you? Because I only walked in like on the fifth hour, you know. <laughs> Honey, I was going off of Bustello. <laughs> <laughs> so you were talking about how you were walking around the neighborhood and you saw somebody. Was it you or someone else seeing someone like a a, a, a older woman picking bushes? That was TC. That, that was TC. Yeah, in Philly. She's from Philly area, mm -hmm. and she said the story of um, you know, she was she was going to a venue somewhere and she saw an Asian woman picking things off of the ground, and she's like, it must be something because she's picking them up. Mm -hmm. And what she found out it was was a niece. Okay. Star of Anise. I said, wow, it's, it's amazing. It's mind blowing because you don't even know. Philly is here. I'm in Jersey, but Philly is here. You get what I'm saying? Like, you don't even realize what you have in your area. And Anise is very good for It's all about your immune system. You know, people are saying when it comes to this pandemic, you know, oh, wear your mask, wear your gloves, uh, stay away, six feet. And, all, and that's all fine and dandy. But with how it's moving, how it's mutating, because you got to look at it's mutating. Mm -hmm. And if it's mutating, that means they're behind the ball, right? They don't know how to cure it, how to fix it. They're they're coming up with uh, ways. But who's to say even when they come up with the ways of, of slowing it down, what's the side effects to you? Is it going to work? Is it going to, you know, what, what else is, is in that? We don't know, right? So I say... We need to build up our immune systems because it's not about trying not to, to get this situation. I don't want to say the word because I think someone said they shut down when they hear trigger words or something. Yeah. yeah. So when 
when it comes to that, how about we focus on building your immune system up so that God forbid, but if it does happen to you, you are strong enough to fight it, mm -hmm. at least to, to fight it because it's taking people out by respiratory right issues. So if we focus on those things and I was like, I was, you came in when we were talking about the things that's around our neighborhoods, you don't even realize um, the, the herbs and the plants and things that are right here that you, you would think that you have to order something from China. You have to get some exotic mushrooms. You got to get, no, no. You know, so I was saying the story of, um, I was in a nail salon and I was getting my nails done. Mm -hmm. And I happened to like glance out the door, out the window. And I've been going to this nail salon for years. And I was like so shocked when I, when I zoomed in on the freaking tree that's been there forever. It was a ginkgo biloba tree. Mm. Again, I'm in New Jersey. I'm in North, Northern New Jersey where the weather is crappy. Nothing ever really grows, but here's this tree. And did you know that they put this tree in a lot of urban areas also? You would mm. never think that. Anybody knows, if anybody's familiar with um, UMD and J Hospital. Yeah. It's lined in ginkgo biloba trees. <laughs> Wow. It's lined in the tree. And that's good for that's good for it's memory. Good for your immune system. It's good for inflammation. Okay. It brings down inflammation like nobody's business. It's great for if you can take that, if you can infuse your carrier oils, carrier oils meaning something light, perhaps like olive oils, things like that, and infuse. So you take the leaves and you want to put them into that oil. I do something called sun infusion. So I like to take my jars and let them sit out in the sun. The sun helps open and release oils out of the plant. Mm -hmm. So that's good if you have psoriasis. You can use that oil. You can in turn use that oil on your scalp. You can use it on your body. If you have lupus and things like that, then you know how sensitive your skin is. Sometimes when you're going through those lupus episodes, the inflammation is serious. So you can use that on your skin. Um, marigolds. Okay, calendula. It grows wild on people's lawns. We pay someone to come and cut it all the time, right? It's like garbage. It's like the weed. You don't want it. That plant fights against cancer. How do you prepare something like that? Like, uh, how would you prepare those plants to like, can you have it as a tea? Or yes, you can have it as a tea. Believe it or not, when it comes to calendula, you can, marigold, you can eat in salads. You can actually eat it in salads. Um, you can also, and dandy, you know, marigolds, dandelion, same family. You can, you can, I like to seep mines. I like to seep mines in hot water. I don't boil my tea. You know how people have like boiling water and then they throw their tea bags or whatever they put in. You kill a lot of its properties by over boiling it. Mm -hmm. So like when you get your water nice and hot, you want to throw in your herbs, whatever you have going on and just cover it up. Just let it seep with hot water. Just let it seep. And let don't it all just come out. Right, right, right. And you're going to get all of its nutrients, all of its um, properties out of it that way. How yeah. does, how does uh, uh, not the marigold, what's the thing you said first? Uh, calendula? Yeah, how does that look? How do you spell that? Calendula, it's C-A-L-E-N-D-U-L-A, -E calendula. Okay. And what's that good for? It's good for cancer. It's amazing for fighting off cancer. It's good for um, decreasing. Um, if you have an overload of white blood cells, it's very good for the liver. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. And you see this on your lawns all the time. All mm -hmm. the time. It's a, yep. It's a great cancer fighter. Absolutely. Um, and what it is, is, is a marigold. It's a marigold. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the marigold family. In the marigold family. Um, so when you see them popping up on your lawn and you're like, oh, you know, I hate this. No, you grab that, especially when it's uncharted walking here. You understand what I'm saying? Like when right. you know somebody on your property where no one goes, you want to take a little Ziploc bag. You want to cut them, take them. Um, you can wash them off if you want. You can also just take them. I like to take my plants, try to keep them by the stem 
tie them up. I have a dehydrator, but I like the old fashioned way. Plus I'm lazy. So I like to hang it up by string. And upside down. Upside down. You got it. And that's what I do. I also roll up my sage. I tie it and I upside, I just leave it upside down. Orange pills. I do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I do the same thing. Yeah. It's great for inflammation. Like you want a really nice cup of tea and you're building your immune system. What's good to grow is stevia. These, this is if you Isn't live. That like that sugar? That's that sugar. It's natural. Yep. Ugh, I hate it. Yeah. You don't like it. I hate it. <laughs> well, you know what? You don't have to grow it. You can do lemon balm, get yourself a nice little pot, put some lemon balm. That's going to come back every year. It's just as aggressive as mint. You can take any type of mint, put that inside of another pot. And you can grow those two. Take two leaves off of each and you can, you know, just use that. You can use that. Put that in your tea. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, if you see the chat, Kinky Locks is saying she um, tinctures them. I never oh, wow. Okay. And it well, what do you do? Do you, you put them in alcohol? What is a tincture? What does that do? Like that's when you make your, do you make your own bitters? Chef Disaster said, I don't like to. You don't like, you don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Do you, I'm, I'm interested in how you make your own tinctures. Do you use vinegar? The flour. You want to come up real quick, Kinky? Yeah, because um, you can use, you can use alcohol to put your herbs in and make your own tinctures that way. Oh. It pulls out all of the oil of the plants. Oh yeah, the stevia. You about. Yeah, you can use those bitters. You can put them in your uh, in your food. You can put it underneath your tongue. Um, yeah, that's yeah. Not cool. What other what other plants have okay. you seen that like grow that we're just like, you so, know, it goes back. Mm -hmm. That goes back to me saying how Mother Nature takes care of us. Mother and Nature is every. That's why you see my I'm my I'm always quoting that. Um, you know, made, made, it's made with love, but it's from Mother Nature's hands. Mother, it's made with Mother Nature's hands. I'm always writing that everywhere. And the reason why, oh, I'm sorry, hold on one second. Mm -hmm. So Nadia, the flower is used to make medicine. Wow. So they use, they use calendula to help make medicine, Kinky? That's cray cray. You want to come up, Kinky? If you say yes, then I'll put the link in the chat for you. Um, but I, I mean, like, guys, I feel like this kind of conversation is the kind of conversation that we YouTubers and people who watch YouTube should be investing your time in because it's helping you. You know, it's meant to help you. And Stevia, oh, yeah, boy, Chef, Stevia, yeah. I took that thing and it was... <laughs> See, I like it. I like the plant. I like the plant. I pinch off a leaf mm -hmm. and I mix it with my lemon balm and my mint. And it's the, like the best tea ever. Mm -hmm. But um, you were asking. So, you know, we have the rose bush. Yeah. And everyone knows, you know, the, the rose. Anybody familiar with what the, the rose and then the leaves fall off and you have that little ball there? The middle part, like the ball yep. part? Yep. Okay. So that's called a rose hip. Right. It's, it's amazing. That's also good in tea. It's really good in tea. You don't, okay. I don't make my own bitters, but studying to do so. Kinky, that would be amazing. It takes a lot of time. It's almost the same like amount of time to distill your own things. When you're distilling and pulling out your own essential oils out of plants, it's a slow process, but it's worth it if you can do it. If you have the equipment to. It's really good. It's really good. So rose hip is like um, you can cut it off and you can keep them in a box. I usually keep mine in a box because, you know, once the rose is spun, you have a million of those, a million of them. People don't realize they just let them stay there. Also good for cancer. Great for colds. Phenomenal for flus. Whenever I feel like I'm getting like the worst flu or you feel like you're surrounded like Perfect timing right now, what yeah. we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. You want to take that and, and seat that 
whole. You don't need to cut it open or anything like that. Just let it do what it do. And that's phenomenal. That's called a rose hip. Wow. And that's stuff that they put in vitamins. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And rose hip is full of vitamin C. Wow. Yeah. Well, you figure because it's in the sun. Right. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. Now, can you eat any of these like without make like without cooking? Can you just chew on them? I I've mean, never I eaten know. rose hips, but yes, you can do marigolds. Is actually really delicious in uh, salads. It's really good in salads. Now, um, Kinky, the link is in the chat. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, that link is in the chat for Kinky. Yeah. Guys. So it's only for Kinky at this time. Which is um, uh, oh, like the rose hip is also there's a medication I can't think of the name. For arthritis, it's very deep mm -hmm. because pharmaceutical is a huge business, right? It's all mm -hmm. about money. But um, like I was telling TC, my father was on a medication that I said, wow, when you open a bottle up, it smells like peppermint. Mm -hmm. And that's what was in the, the pill. It was peppermint. So it just goes to show, you know, they take in, uh, bits and pieces of mother nature. Right. Right. Along with other stuff. That's neither here or there, but you understand where I'm going with it. You know, like, so you can just go to the source and get it from mother nature. So like with rose hip, they, they put, uh, I, I forgot the name of the medication for arthritis, but rose hip does wonders for joints. Mm -hmm. It does wonders for your joint. So these are all things that like, I, I keep saying I'm from Jersey. And the reason why, if anybody knows what I mean, we have the worst weather ever. We're growing something year round. We don't grow anything year round. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying like, if, it, if it's here, surely if you guys are in the South or where you have better weather, then you can find this outside. If not, you can order plants, buy plants, whatever. And it's gonna stay with you forever. This is the time that we need to be able to get our immune system together, also provide for ourselves in a way when it comes to these herbs, start drying them out, bagging them up keeping them you know um in your home it's all possible yeah um yo i feel like the stuff that we should have been doing for so long you know what i'm saying like i never exactly. knew the rose bush could produce so much yeah antioxidants absolutely Thank you. welcome hey guys hey, you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yes, yeah. I can hear you. Do you know yeah. Nadia? No, I don't know no. Nadia. Well, Nadia. This we know each other now. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This is Nadia. Let me tell you, Nadia, on Sunday nights, I don't yeah. know what time your um your channels officially starts, but yo, she be doing some amazing things on her channel to help like expand your business and like help really? like yes make your mind think more about business and oh I yeah, I definitely yeah. need to go and and Grab some of your energy. Yep. Absolutely. Go ahead, Kinky. What were you going to say? Gonna grab her link. Can someone? So, I'm definitely into the herbs. I've been doing herbs mm -hmm. for the last three years now. Um, I tincture them. I, I encapsulate them. I have my own encapsulation machine. Wow. So I encapsulate them. I do the teas. I have an arsenal of herbs over here. Yeah. Um, when I do the tincture them, I do use the 80 proof um, alcohol. alcohol. So I do, okay, I do. use the alcohol. Um, and I just love it. And I've been advocating as well um, about keeping your immune system up, being mindful about your immune system. I'm not into medicines. I don't take medication. Mm -hmm. I don't take anything that that causes any type of side effect. I actually had hyperthyroidism uh, mm. five years ago. The doctor predicted that I would be on medication the rest of my life. I reversed it in three months. You simply by that. taking herbs. You simply by taking herbs. And they I had a push for you to go the holistic uh, avenue. They wouldn't. They wouldn't push you for that. But Absolutely not. You go on your own, you know. And that's why I'm with that thyroid. I'm huge on. So my family has uh, thyroid disease. A lot of the people in my family. Um, and I'm big on elderberry. I'm huge yes, on elderberry. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I took your elderberry as well. Mm -hmm. So we don't do colds. We don't do flus in this house. You know it. None of that. Mm -hmm. 
And that's where we need to go as far as what we're dealing with right now. You know, people, everybody's like, oh, the gloves, the, the mask, like to stay away, stay away. I said, look, if they're saying 3,000 per day, I'm talking about right now, this was the news last night. If 3,000 are catching and, and, and expelling, right? Right. They said 3,000 for the, uh, the entire United States a day. People are like, that's not that many. We're overcrowded anyway. No, that's a lot. <laughs> overcrowded. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. And yeah. yeah. At this point, I was telling my husband, because I have asthma, and I said, you know what? It's not about not catching it. I'm trying to prepare for when it happens. At this point, when it happens, I will be ready. I will be prepared. I'm not trying to go out there and suck up the, uh, a, a person's air who has it, but like you have to live. We have to go grocery shopping. We have to, you know, we're washing our hands. It's packages that has it, things like that. So at this point, I'm making sure I'm overloaded on vitamin C. I'm naturally Absolutely. taking all my herbs. I'm naturally, um, you know, I'm improving the quality of the air that's in my house. You know, um, I'm big on salt and things like sea salt and stuff. So it's a lot of things that you can do in your home. And it doesn't take, and I keep saying Jersey for a reason because it doesn't cost a lot of money to get right. I'm from yeah. Jersey too. Yeah. Born okay. And raised. okay. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it doesn't cost a lot. Cause when you, when some, when you find a journey to your on and you're like, yeah, I'm going to start doing right. I'm all about this holistic life. You'll be like, damn, you get the list. It'd be like ginseng, but the red root and the, it got to be from China and it got to be here. And then you want to go to Africa because this is down here. They got shriveled up mushroom. You be like, you know what? I can't even afford it. I can't afford it. I can't find it. It's a lot right in your neighborhood. It's it's a lot of plants right around you. It's a lot of things that you can grow in containers. Hell, you can grow it in buckets. Absolutely. And a lot of stuff is, they consider weeds is actually like dandelion root. Dandelion, right. They pull right. that up because it chokes out the grass, but it's good for our system. Absolutely. And guess what? The rabbit knows it. <laughs> mm -hmm. the rabbit and the and the dogs know it exactly. too. Exactly. When dogs are sick, it's the first thing they go to. Absolutely. Wow. Mm -hmm. There's a question. Um, Candy Girl wants to know: Is elderberry and mulberry are they the same family? Um, they're not the same thing. And mulberry, um, they're they're both bushes. Mm -hmm. They they are both uh very short bushes. I don't know if they're in the same family. Do they do the same thing? Like, no, no absolutely not. I don't no. believe they do the, the same thing. What is the difference between the two? Mul mulberry is more of a fruit. Okay. Yeah, it still has a high source of iron, vitamin C, and stuff right. like that. But and elderberry is like the elderberry is like the king, the queen of like if you for your yes, mm -hmm. it's the queen of antioxidants and also echinacea. A absolutely. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. And those things are good. All you have to, and then put a pinch of turmeric. You can get turmeric anywhere. Yep, absolutely. A little bit of turmeric in your tea. Um, anybody from the island, hell, you don't have to be from the island. Throw a little bit in your stews. Put a little bit in your food. You yeah. know? Candy Girl said, Candy Girl's from the islands, and she has one in her yard, the uh, mulberry. Okay, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, it's not the same. And the elderberry is a little hard. Mulberry is a soft, a soft fruit. How did you guys like start your journey on like? Well, I started this? mine solely with soaping. So like, okay, so um, to go all the way back with my family and soaping, you have to go back to slavery and um, after slavery, when, when slavery ended, you know, as black, as black families, we did a lot of, um, gardening. Like, you know, you do this, I can do this. You help me here. I help you there. Right. Mm -hmm. And, um, so my family was good with holding fat, lards, pig fats, things like that. I'll make a bar of soap for you. I'll make a loaf of soap for you and you can wash my clothes. I'll wash your clothes. You can help me build this fence. You understand? So, mm -hmm. so that's where that happened. But as it got to now, to me, um, I don't want to use animal products and my my soaps and things like that. So I began began to get on a quest of how can I provide the same quality, if not better, and substitute for all a vegetable route. 
for a whole new route? How can I infuse, um, you know, herbs into it? And then I start just looking up on my own, looking up things because I grow a lot of stuff. How can I, my sage is beautiful. How can I use my purple sage? So, you know, and I just started adding it into soap, started looking, researching, and it's nothing that anyone else can't find on their own. What about you, Kinky? So for me, um, the women on the maternal side of my family, they they live so long. Like my great great grandmother was 112 now, um, 12 years old, Bravo. and then my my great grandmother lived to be 107. My mm -hmm. grandmother, there was no cancers or anything like that. So when my grandmother, maternal grandmother, developed cancer, mm -hmm. um, and then my mom developed cancer, I'm like, oh no. Um, I started doing my research then. I started looking into um, holistic, and I was also like looking looking into a lot of Dr. CB's teachings and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, at that time, I had just started taking, um, which was roughly like maybe nine years ago, I've been taking sea moss and bladder rack. So I just did my own studies, literally mm -hmm. took a herbalism course and just uh, aromatherapy course and just begin to learn on my own and put things together for me because I'm like, I'm not getting cancer, mm -hmm. but it was just crazy how, you know, prior to my great grandmother, I mean, my grandmother getting cancer that the women in the family lived well over a hundred, 110 years of age. Now I'm not personally trying to be here that long but i'm just saying you know when um my grandmother developed cancer it was just it was it was something that was out of the ordinary and i wanted to i wanted to do something different break a generational curse so to speak and um just started doing my research i think that's awesome that you 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 can you're able to go back that far in history to know that mm -hmm. um you know your family did the bartering with you know the animal fats to make soaps that's awesome like i don't know that my history that deep enough. But what I do know is that mm -hmm. I'm not going to develop cancer. I want my children to be educated. Absolutely. And as many people as I can tell that right, these pharmaceuticals, right. like they're here, literally they, they, the FDA is set up to keep us sick because sickness is big business. And so I've, all, you know, I got to the place where when my grandmother developed cancer, I became hmm. proactive about my health. I'm going to be in charge of my health. You're not going to tell me, yeah, let me get the diagnosis. So then I'll know how to research and do what I need to do to reverse that. Because I'm fully aware that the body was created to heal itself. Let's see what we need to give it to assist it in doing just that. And so it just became something that I became passionate about. I love it. I don't really make um, teachers and medicines for other people. I do it for my family. So, mm -hmm. you know, but I do like to share and educate other people if they want to go and do it for themselves, because, um, you know, just like anything else, people can have allergies to different herbs and stuff like that. I don't want to be responsible for right. for that. But I, the education right. part of it, I'm really passionate about educating people about being proactive about your health. I right. don't care what they diagnosed you with. There's, there's something for it here in the earth right. to help assist your body to reverse that assist your body to do what it was created to do, which is heal itself. And so I'm just extremely passionate about, you know, um, sharing that with other people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Nadia, what, what kind of tea would you recommend is like the best, like antioxidant boosting, like something that we can tangibly get our hands on herbs that we can probably tangibly get our tangibly get our hands on. Mm -hmm. Well, I love myself. I love, I use elderberry. Mm -hmm. I use green tea, the uh, uh, actual leaf. Now that I don't grow. If you are in the South, green tea can grow. You can you can actually buy uh, green tea and it can grow year round. Um, but I like green tea, elderberry. Um, I, I use, um, uh oh, sorry. I also use calendula. Okay. Um, I use mint for taste and I love turmeric inside and I use marshmallow root. I had those pre-made oh, jars. <laughs> yeah. Marshmallow. You know why? Because it detoxes at the same time. So what, what goes in obviously flushes out and I love marshmallow root for that, that, you know, whole situation. It helps you out. But, um, you get a lot of vitamin C in rose hips. If you are, you know, it's a different taste. It's not disgusting, but you know, you can use it. Yeah. 
I like to seep it. I like to seep all of that together. I'm huge on tea. I'm really big on tea. What about you, um, Pinky? And then um, a question for you guys as well. Okay, so me for me, the elderberry, echinacea, a uh, sage, oregano, believe it or not. Oh, go slow uh, down. Go slow, slow down. I'm trying to write this stuff I'm in. sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oregano. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Clove. Clove. Okay. Lemon balm. Cinnamon. Definitely um, the, can't think of it. She just mentioned it too. I don't know why it leaves my mind, but the the Indian herb. Um, what? No, it, you, you, just, you just literally just mentioned it. Uh, my goodness. And I every single time I get to this one, it's like, it's just like calendula? literally. The calendula, definitely. But it's another one. Um, we What they make the curries with. Yeah, turmeric. Turmeric, yes, turmeric. Mm -hmm. So, and I do the same thing. I combine them as well. Yeah. Um, and make the teas. I love teas. I absolutely love I teas. Too. I do too. Yeah, black seed is really good too, Miss Tr. Yeah, I used to take a. I used to take a sip. Uh, yeah, a I, I don't really take it though, but it I is good. It is good. I can't take it that. Taste good though. <laughs> I couldn't get past the taste. Yeah, I'd rather take wood root tonic, and that's horrible. <laughs> I'm pretty good with bitter taste. Like I do yellow dog straight up and it's horrific, but I know what it's doing for my body. I know what it does for my body. Burdock root straight up, but I know what it does for my body. So I've acquired a taste of these things. It doesn't have to taste good. A lot of times if it's good for you, it's not going to always taste good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But black seed oil <laughs> It's I know. I I take that. I've taken that as well. And I I I gave my husband a shot of that, and he looked at me like I was trying to kill him. Like flaxseed uh, <laughs> oil. Flax oil. I can take flaxseed oil any day. Like the the that that doesn't taste bad at all to me. But when it comes, it's something about that black seed oil. It's just like yo. <laughs> so the question Octavia has for both of you, whoever wants to answer first, um, do either of you drink daily? Water. What water do you drink daily? I drink um, more coconut water than regular water. Hmm. Wow. That's the same here. I do too. Why? It's very, it, it, it's, it's just it's something so about, let me. Light. And it's also, it's just more, to me, it's refreshing. It is. You can feel it. Yep. Literally when you're drinking it, you can yep. feel it. So it's almost like you're plugged up to a, um, you know how when you go to the hospital, because see, I don't go, I don't do that either. So you know how when they need to give you fluids, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. what it feels like. Somebody just plugged you up when you yep. when you drink um, coconut water. It feels like you can feel it through soaring through your body. But what kind of coconut you. water? Hmm. What kind of coconut water? Not this stuff that generic stuff they have, right? You can literally go to um, a farmer's market and get coconuts. Okay, so you just make your own coconut. Mm -hmm. coconut yeah, and then okay. What about you, um, Nadia? You crack a coconut too, or yeah, they sell them. They actually sell them like that. You can go to Whole Foods; they have them, and yep. it's like a full sixteen ounce inside of one coconut. So they already have it prepared for you. So you can do that. Um, Foco, which is a brand, they have now. You got to be careful. They have one that that has sugar content in it, but they have another that's about 32 ounces and it doesn't have any sugar content at all. It's just pure coconut water. And that's the brand called Boco. Yeah, it's called Foco. F like Frank. O C O. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love whole foods. I live in whole foods. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just learning y'all. Like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm writing stuff down. I hope you guys are also writing these things down too, because this, yeah. this live is meant but it's an acquired taste though. You gotta, you gotta say that uh, coconut water is acquired taste. My yes. husband was like, Oh my gosh, this is so horrible. And one day he was like, I'm so thirsty. And he was like looking around and there was one can on a nightstand. Mm -hmm. And I was like, uh, 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 that's my can. Don't touch it. Cause it was frozen. <laughs> And I was letting it thaw out. So I had it sitting on my nightstand with the cloth underneath. And I hear him crack open the can and pour it in the cup. And he drank it. And he was like, oh, this is not good. This is not good. <laughs> and then the next minute, you know, he's like, do you have another can? And I was like, yeah, there's more in the fridge. I said, I wish he would have never gotten like addicted to it because he goes through so many cans a day. So It quenches your thirst like nothing yeah. else. 
Yeah, yeah. he's addicted. He likes a uh, Foco brand. Yeah. yeah. I got to try that cuz I'm all about trying my best to um build my immune system. Do you ladies suggest any if people are in, are not into teas, anything food-wise that we could possibly eat to help build best build, build boost our immune system? Yeah, well, you know, fruits are always good. And people uh, go to fruits all the time, but you have to remember, fruit has high contents of sugar. Sugar. Mm -hmm. You know, people are like, "I'm on a diet, girl. I'm gonna get myself together, and I'm just eating fruit right now." <laughs> and you're like, "Uh, you know, nope. like, that's loads of sugar, <laughs> right?" So, um. See, I don't like this type of conversation because you know why you lose people with it because you know why nobody likes vegetables and I'm a vegetarian and I live off of all deep green veggies. I love broccoli, asparagus, you know, Brussels sprouts, kale, um, collard greens. I, I live off of a lot of greens, um, mushrooms. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm all about like vitamin K, things that help your skin that stretch, things that help um, bring vitality to your overall health, your skin, your eyes, your nails, things like that. Orange uh, things, you know, you should look into sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes is phenomenal. Yes, Carrots, it is. Good for your eyes, good for your reproductive system. For those of you who are trying to um, have babies or you're pregnant at the time, you know what I mean? Those are things to look into. Mm -hmm. I love greens as well. I'm I'm a, I'm a key, I'm on keto. I do keto. Okay. So you're right about the fruits. Um, mm -hmm. So any fruits I have are probably blackberries, blueberries, any type of berry. I don't mess with any type of bananas. High and very high in carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of our fruits are full and full of sugars. So you know if you're trying to lose weight and you're taking fruits, uh, you know good luck because um, that sugar is it, the content is really, really high. So I do a lot of greens too, kale. I do a lot of smoothies as well. And I do smoothies actually every day with my sea moss. That's how I take my sea moss. I take raw sea moss. I make my own sea moss gel. Oh, I, order, yes. I order from a vendor in Jamaica. I soak it and I make my mm -hmm. own sea moss gel, the bladder rack. I make my own mm -hmm. gel. And of course I throw in burdock root and then I'll throw in kale. I'll throw in some mm -hmm. raspberries, some um, a couple of strawberries because strawberries can be high in um, sugars as well. Um, but I just do the berries and the mango and not a lot of mango either. And the smoothies are amazing. That's you right. didn't even know the sea moss was in there, but that's how I get it in me. <laughs> wow, wow. Anyway. <laughs> and you know, you just said something, the sea moss, sea moss is, listen, if you, it was nothing else on earth to have and they said, you, you have to pick one thing. It would be you sea moss. Sea moss. Yeah. It's, it's full. It's one of the only things on earth that are, it's so, it's singly, it's just the, it's loaded. It's loaded with nutrients. It's high in potassium. You know, medically, if you had low potassium, that's one thing that they could not um, induce. They can't give you too much potassium. Right. You back. Right. You know, your sugar gets low and they can give you something to spike it and bring it up. You can't do that with potassium. If it gets too low, you're just going to die. You're just going to die. They can't bring it up fast. Yeah, absolutely. It, has, it goes into increments and it goes over days. They have to give. So if you're at a low level, they know that, okay, your heart's going to stop soon. That It just is what it is. Sea moss has such a good level of potassium that that's going to help you. It's going to give you your daily, not just your daily amount of nutrients, but it's it's packed. It's packed with every single vitamin. Absolutely. Every single vitamin. So when you go on vacation, um, I've never bought it offline or anything like that, but I, I go, I vacation a lot and I'm addicted to cruising. Whenever I go into like Belize, um, Barbados, any place like that, I always find the people that are on the roads and I'm like, do you have sea moss? You know, sea moss is like, it, it just, it just comes up to shore by them. And you pay a lot online for that. But when you go out there, they bag it up. It's like $5. It's like a massive garbage bag. They, mm -hmm. it, It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And they're like, you can't you can't take it back with you. Let me tell you, honey, I'll be trying to compress into my little bags. You guys better not tell on me. I am too small for gel. Don't do it. If you love me, okay, just dismiss what I'm saying, okay? 
Just don't tell them when you leaving, girl. Don't, yes, I won't. I won't do it. I won't do it. But it is, shout out to the papaya sea moss soap I made because everybody loved that soap. That was that sea moss from Belize. Oh wow! <laughs> yes, I would so, love to have a soap like that. It's amazing. I'm going to check out your shop. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. So, so I just, I just want to say that because um, Lock and T just said that, and that I forgot all about that. That's a that's yeah number one. Right. Sea moss has 92 of the 102 minerals and vitamins the body needs. The period. Number. Wow. 92 of 102. Period. So it's a boss. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a boss. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nadia's link is in her website link. If you guys want to check out her soaping, is in mm -hmm. um, the description of this chat. And um, I put Kinky Locks's uh, link in the chat if anybody want, it does not have her and wants to follow mm -hmm. her. To pick up, you know, good tips on business and also just other things as well. Her link was in the chat too. Or, um, I'll stick it in the chat again. And I share about, um, you know, my herbal journey as well on my channel. Um, oh. I share about, you know, my my thyroid th journey and and um, just the herbs that I take. I do share because it's a whole slew of them: sarsaparilla root, just all types of root maca. Mm -hmm. I'm into everything. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, and that's, see, you, you, um, you know, you have to worry about what you put in your body as well as on your skin, on, on your Absolutely. body, you know? So I'm just, when it comes to like herbal life, I'm just always in awe of mother nature. Like she will always provide mm -hmm. and you don't have to have money. That's the thing. Like it's step out your door and look around. You don't have to have money. It's like, the plants outside, the rose bush, the calendula, things like that. That's starting, start there. Get your immune system up. Start there because it's about not if, just prepare yourself when, when. If I catch a cold in this type of climate where people are all around and, you know, God forbid, you want to be prepared. You want to have your body prepared for whatever, especially if you have loved ones in your house who um, battle with asthma or anything like that, or any other pre-existing um, conditions. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You want to, you got to look out for yourself, but you also have to look out for them. You have children in your house, things like that. You know, you see what's happening. Children are looking like they, they're coming up with cocksacky and it's not cocksacky. It's actually the situation. And now they're starting to go. So, Start building up your immune system. Give it to your children. Make nice cold teas out of it. Have you ever thought about making like sucking mints? Can can you ever make a sucking mint out of that? Like a lozenger? Oh, you're talking about food things, honey. Mm -mm, that's not me. I mean, I can cook, but you know, I, I can't bake. No, no, I mean with these, like, let's just say, <laughs> let's just say like these teas, like for the kids. When you said the kids, I just thought, oh, oh, okay. these teas. Like, oh, like a rock candy. Put it in Wow, that's true. I never thought of that. That's a good idea. Will it like if you try to? If it's cold, you have to, I don't know. Will you lose the properties? And if it's too cold, okay. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. A lock into? Do you know? Like, I don't know. I've never thought about that. Kinky? Oh no! I'm with the candies. You're saying? Yeah, well, yeah. I don't do. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Ask the question again, Joy. I was like saying like like for the kids, because you know it's hard for them to like drink tea, period. But like if you turned it oh. into ice pop or like a hard sucking candy. I'm sure pop. there's something that can be done with the elderberry um, for kids that, you know, they would they would probably take. Yeah, they have a yeah, syrup too. Yeah. They have an elderberry yeah, syrup for kids. It's out. really good too. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the gummies. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Wow. Anybody in the chat have questions for these ladies before we? That's interesting that you say you can go right outside and what everything you need is out there because it's the truth. Mm -hmm. And if you ever wonder why most of these things that, well, for the most part, almost 99.9% uh, .9 of them, none of them are approved by the Food and Drug Administration. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because they can't make any money off of it. That's right. That's right. You can't make money they off well people. <laughs> you can't make money off well people. You can't Absolutely. make money off of woke people. And you can't wake, make right. money off of what comes from the earth. They have oh, to yeah. add their own scientific mm -hmm. side effect ingredients in order to, oh. you know, patent it. 
Right. That that ginkgo biloba tree, I'm telling you, like I was in the, I was in, I was saying that on Decox platform, I was literally sitting in there when I saw the tree, I was turning around like I saw gold and I was telling <laughs> the woman next to me and the woman behind me and they were looking at me like I was crazy. So mm. I was like, shut up, Nadia, don't say anything else. And it kind of like, I was a little angry internally. I, I felt something internally like we should know as people, we should know more. You know what I mean? Or not. Yeah. Even, let's say let's say you don't know. How about you be a little open? Right. Not the whole I, I, mm, this is a tree. I don't mm, 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 you know, down to the, the Asian woman who did my nails. She's like, you try it first and then I'll see if you live. You know, she was laughing. We, I laughed with her, but I was thinking to myself only if she knew. Absolutely. So on my Instagram, I put a picture of that tree. I, got in my car. I put that on Instagram and I was saying people have no idea. Pinko biloba is good for your memory. Yes, it's good it is. For your mind. It's good for your eyes. It's good for your coordination. It's good for inflammation. And it's growing downtown. You know what I mean? So I was like, this is crazy. It's all around the corner of my house. It's all over. And the leaves last a very long time. I'm all about fresh now. I will dehydrate and use it, but I, I dehydrate in small increments because I want to be able to grab more and do it again. I don't want to hold anything too long. Right. You know, and uh, I make soap out of the ginkgo biloba. I use ginger in that soap. Wow. How long is too long? I use mine within six months. Okay. I use all of it within six months. Yeah. And I keep them in dark places. Okay. Yeah. Basement. That's why, that's, that's exactly why a tincture, tinctures can last you up to two years. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You what know, is a tincture, kinky? Tinctures is you taking your herbs, they're dry, you dry them. Mm -hmm. um, you can either purchase them dry or you can dry them like um, um, Nadia says, you can dehydrate mm -hmm. them. And then you're going to put them um, in 80 proof alcohol. Some people tincture with um, glycerin. I think that's a little weak. Some people tincture with vinegar. Mm -hmm. I choose the alcohol because I found that that's the strongest. Um, it pulls you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I get everything out of that herb I'm trying to get. <laughs> and um, you make your own medicines with it. Like, right. literally. I teach it, it goes yeah. in the dark for six weeks. Yeah. And then when it comes out, you strain it and you got medicine. You have the medicine from that plant. And I the use oils. oils like that underneath. I put them in a dark cabinet. I put them inside of a cabinet. I do oil. Um, I do sun infusion. Nice. Nice. So that's what I do with all of my oils, um, calendula, um, even ginger, you know, a root. And mm -hmm. I like to put it in the sun with uh, safflower oil, um, things like that, um, babasu oil. And I just let it sit in the nice. sun. Mm -hmm. I let it sit for a whole day and then I take it back in at night. Then I take it back out in the daytime. Mm -hmm. I do that for three days and then I allow it to sit in a dark place. And I do that for about six weeks, six to eight weeks. And then I just start, you know, pouring off, putting them in my amber jars and then yep. putting them back. Yeah, that's what I do. Do you and have I try I all of my like moringa? Because I use a lot of moringa. Um, I infuse with that too. And I make my facial soaps with that, my whipped facial soaps. Nice. Mm -hmm. I put them under my tongue as well. That's the best way to get them into your. Yeah, that's the only way I've seen anyone ever use tinctures. I, mm -hmm. I don't like the taste, but I I like it that way because it absorbs in the uh, saliva glands quickest if you right put it with the tongue. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you have to have any special jars? I know, like I know, it has to be glass, of course. I use amber jars. The dark. I use amber, the dark jars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amber, okay, guys. I hope you're writing this stuff down. I'm look. I'm writing that down. Amber, <laughs> I'm serious, y'all. I'm like, I'm halfway. I'm halfway in, halfway out. You know. And I, I also, um, I infuse oils as well. Um, I don't do it the same way that I would do my tinctures, mm -hmm. but I do rosemary for my roots, my hair, Beautiful. and also, um, cayenne is amazing. Oh, so I do infuse that as well for my for hair growth. I infuse coffee beans. I love coffee mm -hmm. beans. It's good for your skin. And you're right. Your skin yeah. is the biggest organ on your body. Yeah, so absolutely. just like if you're not and if you're not taking it internally and you're putting it on your skin, it's still getting in your body. Mm -hmm. So I'm mindful about what I put on my skin. So I love the coffee to infuse the um 
do coffee bean infusions as well and use those oils on my skin or whip up my own body butters with the coffee oil yes. to put on my own skin. Yep. Perfect. And that's a, that recipe she just gave you guys is phenomenal for hair. It's phenomenal for hair. And I'm going to tell you why she just said the coffee, coffee mixed with cayenne. And if you add it any type, but first make sure you're not allergic to uh, cinnamon. Right? right. You can probably eat cinnamon, but some people can't take it on skin. And um, it's highly photogenic if you use it too much, too much of a high amount of it. But if you do what she just said and, and you you mix it like that and you and you add cinnamon, you don't have to add cinnamon. You can do exactly what she just said. You're going to stimulate your pores. You're going to open up your pores. And you're going to stimulate it because that's a mixture for stimulation. That's blood stimulation, blood flow circulation mm -hmm. stimulation that's phenomenal mm. Mm -hmm. there's a question what is a natural way to build up your blood since you're talking about it iron mm. now i'm not a meat eater so you can get iron and other things um but if you're a meat eater that's what you would get it from vitamin k also is, is phenomenal for it Mm. Anything else you want to add to that, King? You're taking your no your notes the way I use clevers. Clevers is a herb that's really high in iron as well. Mm -hmm. uh, linden leaf is high in iron. I use that as well. Soap with I, linden. Yes, and I got the, the red ginseng, so I use that, and I use um, red clover. So I have the red clover as well uh, for blood. Nice. Mm. Gosh, remember that red ginseng? You would try to sit there and take it like a shot. <laughs> it's serious. That ginseng is serious. It is very expensive. Like, okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> it's extremely expensive, but I, I love it. My husband it loves it. And mm -hmm. I mean, you don't, a little goes a long way. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we pay probably like maybe $80 for four ounces, um, mm -hmm. but it goes a long way. Right. When I right. Mean, it does. You don't. It doesn't require you to take a lot, but you can literally feel that as well. I put it in our smoothies, and immediately the energy is through the roof. The mental clarity is through the roof. Now I have a question for you. Can you give us a really good smoothie recipe? So with the smoothie, I do. Um, I use almond milk. I don't do, use any type of cow, goat. Me either. I love almond. Almond and coconut. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so what I actually use is a roasted coconut and almond milk. Um, I'll tell you the brand that I use. I'm going to call my husband in here to bring it to me. Mm -hmm. um, I use a cup of almond milk, sometimes two cups if I'm making him one as well. Mm -hmm. Half a cup of uh, raspberries, half a cup of blueberries, uh, maybe two or three strawberries. That's it. Mm -hmm. I use a heaping tablespoon of sea balls. I use a cup of kale and then I pour mm. my almond milk over that and I use my bullet and that's my smoothie and I will dunk in the um I will put in um my I put roots in there as well so I put sarsaparilla root in there oh, I also no. put my red clover root in there every now and then again I'll use maca but because I'm on keto I gotta try it you know it has a you know it'll catch up with me with the carbohydrates because maca is really yeah not carbo carbohydrate friendly but yeah. I love the way that it makes me feel so I use it every now and again. Yeah, I and use I, it in powder form. Mark, yes, like yes. Yeah. And now I put question, it right. that's sarsaparilla. If you use a lot of it, do you do you smell it like coming out of your pores? So I I don't use a whole lot of it, and I I have heard that that's a possibility that it can happen. Yeah, so I don't use a lot of it, but I also I got the ginkgo too. So I'll put, but I have mine powdered, so I will put it in um my smoothie. Don Qu Don No, I'm not sure if you ever heard of Don. Don Kai, Don Koi root. Yep. Yep. Okay. That goes in my smoothie. Mm -hmm. And I also That's good for use. Fertility. I, I, yes, but I'm not having no kids. <laughs> uh, my kids, my kids, are, grown. My kids so are grown. It's all about training. <laughs> and I use the prickly cactus um, okay. in my smoothie as well, as well. And it is absolutely delicious. And that's my, that's how, what I break fast with every day. I break fast at two o'clock in the afternoon and then I have one meal. I'm doing OMAD and I'm good. I'm satisfied. Wow. Yeah, what she said. She said, break the fast. 
Yeah, that's breakfast. People call it breakfast, but it's just breaking fast. Is when yeah. you decide you're gonna eat for the first time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's so dope. Mm. Wow. Oh, I love this today, Joy. I appreciate you for having me up here. I really do. This no, because this, this is meaningful. Like this is stuff that we need to do. Like you could do a lot on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I was just saying I was having a conversation the other day about the power of influence. And how all of us collectively have so much power within each other. Yes. So this is so could be an influential conversation mm -hmm. to even just you know maybe get the wheels going for some people's minds. Like you know what you're right. I do need to think more about my body, even if it's not to not because of this situation out there, but maybe I should consider other mm -hmm. alternatives. You know what I mean? So I'm about that. I'm about solution, and you guys are giving valid solutions to things that we can use right around our house. Right. Yeah. Or the click of Google, you know. Mm -hmm. I always say we know in part, when we bring these parts together, we get such a big picture out of it. So I think it's dope as well. Um, right. You know, just, just educating one another on being better. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely have definitely learned something that goes back to that puzzle that I was talking about. How if we allow ourselves to go right into the right pieces that we're supposed to go into, it'll fit right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. My keto Octavia is a pescatarian version, so I do eat seafood. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was answering uh, Octavia's yeah. question. Yeah, I was looking at her question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was like, I keep hearing keto. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So any like um we got our flowers. So real quick, either one of you, well, each one of you, if um not if you want to start off real quick, like with the stuff that's around in the urban area or in a suburban area, what can people look out for that just grows naturally that they can pick? And if you don't, if you don't know what it looks like, we all have smartphones, right? Let's make them use what they're supposed to be for to smarten us. Go Google right. it picture right. and scan that thing, and it'll tell you what it is. So go ahead. That's right. So uh, ginkgo biloba mm -hmm. is a, a really beautiful tree. Um, it grows here in New Jersey, which is Zone Seven, which is Hardy. Um, you will find that I have it on my Instagram. It's the same name, Sincerely Yours 98A. I posted a picture of that downtown and I took a picture of the tree. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see that there. Also, rose hips off of the spun roses. Everyone has that. You can see them outside. Um, and then marigolds. Marigolds are amazing. Marigolds are amazing. Calendula. That's what that is. Um, that's amazing for tea. It's amazing for your immune system. You can't go wrong with that. Um, that's things that, that's right up your arm that you can put your hands on that. Cinnamon is phenomenal. Cinnamon is also phenomenal for blood circulation. It also helps regulate diabetes. Talk to your doctor about it first, but remember to do your research also. Cinnamon is phenomenal for diabetics. Um, you can, you know, and that's just some things that's around your house. Lemon is good for your gut. The acid is in the lemon is very good for your gut. Very good for your gut. I agree. And it actually alkalines your body. Exactly. So exactly. while lemon is acidic. More. Mm -hmm. I, oh, I don't know. I don't really get my hands on lime too much. I always have, you know, where I go, I go to shop, right? I don't really think so I that's I mean it's just what I use what I what I have you know mm -hmm. at my disposal so I use that and um and that's all in my and then in my garden you know from the mint to um, my sage my rosemary you know those are things that I grow those are things that I grow year round I, I keep it indoors. I have like a little greenhouse tent in my breezeway. I use it for that. And then outside in the summertime, I plant more and um, I use it. I use it. But, you know, even if you're not a, a gardening person, 
you cannot kill. I always say this. You cannot kill mint. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be really hard. I mean, mint is so aggressive. That's a, that's a fighting root right there. It will crawl like nobody's business. Mm -hmm. So to put it in a pot, that's really good. Um, you know, lemon balm is amazing. That grows, yes. in, a that grows in a pot. Um, lemon balm will come. These are things I'm saying that when you, when you're, let's say you you have your pots outside and now fall comes and winter comes and those pots are like withered and just dangling on the side. Guess what? When the spring comes, it's going to fill back up on its own. It's going to fill back up with mint and lemon balm. So you can use that. That's something that's good to have. Like I said, in times like this, we need to start focusing on herbs to prepare ourselves. It's not if, it's it's about when. Let's let's just be ready to have like the best immune system ever. Like we should have already done this, but people are busy. We always um it's sad, it's unfortunate, especially women. We grind, we work really hard, and we don't take care of ourselves the way we need to. Self-care. We don't sit and say, you know what? Let me make sure I'm I'm my best me physically. We don't always do that. So now that right. we're dealing with this situation, it's like a catch up situation. It's like, you know what? Okay, let, let me get this together. And that's okay. This is not to call anybody out. It's to say, you know what? You only have one you. And if you got to start today, then start today and make it count. Like start grabbing your herbs. Yeah. You know, it could be done. It could be done. Absolutely. What about you, Kinky? Anything? So I don't grow my own herbs, but my brother actually does. He works in hydroponics, um, but Ooh. he does grow. He grows lemongrass for me. This is stuff he sends to me that he grows. He grows lemongrass. He grows oregano. He grows mint. He grows sage. He grows rosemary, chives. He grows cilantro. And he sends that to me. For the most part, the other herbs that I get, I buy wholesale from herbs of uh, Mexico. Um, or um, there is a vendor that I have in um, Jamaica that I buy herbs from and also my sea moss from. Y'all getting this stuff down. I can tell you what they said. Or maybe um, if you want, just rewatch this. Well said. They said they understood. If you if you needed to hear this stuff again, you can always watch this. You can follow them. Also, um, Octavia's. I'm sorry, not Octavia. <laughs> Nadia's. Nadia's information <laughs> definitely in the chat. I'm gonna put your information in in the link as in the chat as well. It, I'm sorry, in the description as well, Kinky. After. Okay. I'll put your description in, in the. Oh, wait, that's right. I'm sorry to cut you off. It's kinky. I was like, locks and tea. Well, <laughs> okay, kinky. Okay, I got you. I got you. You Did you hear me this whole time? I'm like, lock, lock and tea. Lock and yeah, tea. I heard. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't change that from my. We had a virtual tea party the other day. I do detox teas. Me and oh. my daughter, we're in business and we do detox teas. And so that was. Just the sign on I came in when we did our oh um gosh. our panel for the detox teams. team. That's yeah. your business. Yeah, well, I'm in business with a company that sells detox teas, but they're all natural products, of course. Oh I gosh. check it out, and yeah. the teas are phenomenal. We have uh, we have the regular detox teas, and then they have detox teas with CBD. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, I got. So we do, um, we've been doing quarantine virtual tea parties online, and that's just a sign. And I've been coming in with for our tea <laughs> oh, okay. party because I'm like lock and tea, lock and tea. Okay, lock and tea. <laughs> I'm like, wait, this is kinky. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna put her link in the chat in case people don't have her. That's the link that I just posted. That's Kinky Locks um, YouTube link, her channel. But again, um, if you guys need any recommendations of what you should take. Just rewatch this video, pause it to wherever you need to pause it. Share it out with people who may not be aware. Follow all of us, you know what I'm saying? Because we all have different things that we can add to probably encourage you or to help strengthen your immune system with different um, type of remedies. Um, I'm thankful that you both were willing to come up here um, and share so I'm gonna um gonna have us do our little closing remarks. And I'm gonna start with uh Kinky first, because I know you go live soon, right? 
Well, I'm not going live tonight, sis. Oh, you're not? Okay. No, I'm not going live tonight. I'm exhausted. I swear you on. I'm like, let me get up in your oh, hello world uh, and um, <laughs> see what's going on tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm grateful. Oops. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I accidentally did something. <laughs> Go ahead, Kinky. It's all on you. Okay, so I just wanted to say I'm grateful for you allowing me to come up. I love conversations like this. We don't really hear often where people are really into um, being proactive about their health, mindful about their bodies, and also into herbs and things like that. I love the fact that this queen makes her own soaps. Like literally, um, I'm, I'm, I'm big on supporting one another and supporting businesses, especially for women. And I'm definitely going to be looking into getting some soaps and stuff like that. Because like I said, um, you know, I'm just not, um, you know, proactive about my health internally. I'm a proactive about my health externally. And, um, you know, it's just awesome when we can come together and we can bring our, our parts together and just really learn be woke, like you said, Joy, Joy, because that's what it's about. It's about us being being woke, not just letting people tell us um, if you, you know, you need to take this or you need to take that and just continue to self-poison ourselves. So I'm really, I, you know, I enjoy educating people and just helping them to understand that you do have the power to, um, you know, do what you need to do for your body. It, it's fine for a doctor to tell you this is what's going on with you so that you'll know. But trust and believe. And I'm telling you from experience, I had high blood pressure. I had so many things going on with me, e even down to the mental aspect of it. Um, we don't realize a lot of times when we're stressed out, it literally will show up in our bodies in a physical way. And a lot of people are walking around sick because, you know, of stress and things of that nature. And so it's just good when you can come together with some other sisters and just talk about the things that just nature provides for us to be able to assist our bodies in healing itself. So I am just grateful for the opportunity to be able to share this panel with you guys today. And thank you so much, Joy, for the, um, for the open door. Yeah. And tell everybody how they can find you and all that good stuff. Okay, so you guys can find me, of course, on YouTube at Kinky Locks Trey. I'm also on um, Instagram as um, my username on Instagram is I am Tracy Lee. Um, I did have it as Kinky Locks Trey, but of course I have a business. So, you know, I don't want people to look at that and not understand that the kinky part is in reference to my hair. Okay. Everybody's not going to grasp that concept. And so of course in business, I want to appear, you know, I want to be professional about it. So on, um, Instagram, you can, uh, find me at I am Tracy Lee. And of course, guys, I'm open to questions or anything, guys, I'm very approachable. So you could DM me if you have any questions for me with regards to herbs, natural hair, holistic health, anything. Okay. And then on Facebook, um, I am on Facebook as Kinky Locks, Twitter as Kinky Locks. Okay. And then lastly, um, just type in the chat, just type in the chat so people can see your name and then they can highlight it and whatnot. Okay. And I'm going to, now I'm going to bring it to uh, Sincerely Yours, Nadia. But um, thank you, Nadia, for um, coming up and sharing. So I'm bringing it on to you now. Okay. Well, I want to say thank you, Joy. I really appreciate you because um, it's not a lot of times like uh, Kinky just said that we get an opportunity to speak about exactly what we love, which is, you know, gardening, herbal life, things like that. Um, and I, I find it so important now for us to really grasp the importance of just getting our health in order. You know what I mean? Like dealing with what we're dealing with outside. It's it's not um, as easy as everyone's making it seem like, oh, it's not that bad. It is. And, you know, and if it isn't, let's just pretend that it is and let's get ourselves together. So, you know, um, I, I really look forward to this, this panel tonight. I really did because I wanted people to leave with the uh, understanding that you can get these items right outside your door. So that that's the slogan. That's the, the little uh, word of the night. You can get your herbs right mm -hmm. outside your door. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Cause um, you know, people are losing jobs and things like that. So the last thing you want is to, to have to worry about getting some herbs 
not being able to afford it or attain it because you just can't find it, right? So yeah, um, so I'm really grateful for, for the opportunity. I had a I had a blast tonight. I really did. I really really did. And I think this is one of those uh, lives that people are going to be able to go back and rewind over and over and get bits and pieces and jewels and nuggets all throughout. So I appreciate that, Joy. I had a blast. And then tell everybody your website, how you can be found, all that good stuff. Okay, so this is easy. So exactly how you see my name below. It says, Sincerely Yours, Nadia A. That's my website also. So, um, I mean, that's Instagram also. I'm here on YouTube, obviously, Sincerely Yours, Nadia A. My website is www.shop Sina, that's S like Sam, Y, N like Nancy, A, dot com. That's just an abbreviation of sincerely yours, Naughty A. So S Y N A dot com. And there you're going to be able to find soaps and body creams and um, natural perfume roll ons and bath bombs. And I do a monthly box called the Surprise Me Box. Um, this month was a beautiful box that was inspired by my dad, who I just recently lost uh, three weeks ago. And um, it was inspired by him with his uh, addiction for sweet. <laughs> mm. So it was a beautiful box and it was the theme was pastries. Oh. So it was six bars and a donut shaped bath bomb. That was really nice. So we do things like that on my website. That's monthly. Um, but you can find out more info there, but you know, about the products. My email is Nadia at sincerely yours, Nadia A.com. I'm always available for conversation, always available. Uh, if you need to, to reach out to me, it's the email that you're going to reach me at because I'm not an Instagram person. So if you do hit me up on Instagram, Lord, charge it to my mind and not my heart because I hardly even know how to work Instagram, okay? If you go over there and look at my page, you can see I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I keep it strictly uh, with my my soap um, pictures and things like that there, but I don't really quite um, remember to go and check the messages, okay? So yeah, that that's about it. Okay. And I thank you guys for sitting through it and listening to me ramble. No, it's not. It's not rambling. I want to um, just say hello to and thank you, Julie, uh, for being here. I didn't get to say ho hello to everyone, but I hope people realizing that I highlighted their name, that that was my way of acknowledging you. Um, you know, I appreciate everybody that was here. Thank you, Kinky and Nadia for um, being here. I appreciate you because this is a conversation that I think is vital and I don't know much about, you know what I'm saying? But you always go to people that know more than you, right? And that's why you get people that come into your life uh, for those reasons. You know, I'm going to keep bothering you guys about more things. Um, I did take notes. I don't know about y'all. I was taking notes for real, for real. Um, and basically, um, my name is Joy and I'm from Be The Difference Clothing. And I. it was a pleasure to have Nadia and Kinky Locks here on Hello World. Guys, y'all gonna have to unmute your mic because uh, we are signing out on another episode of, say it with me, y'all. Nadia. Okay. I was typing in your website. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, happy Mother's Day to you guys, all of you. Thank you guys for yes, happy Mother's Day. You guys, happy Mother's Day, guys. Such. I hope it was easy for you guys because you know Mother's Day is not always easy for everyone. But either way, you yes. did well with uh, utilizing your time well by helping others. Yes, yes absolutely. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my name is Joy from Be The Difference Clothing. This is... Sincerely yours, Nadia A. And that is... Kinky Locks Trey. And we are signing out on another episode of... Hello, Hello world! world. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys.